It's time for your daily dose of all things Chicago sports. This is the Daily Score. Now, here's your host, Mark Grody. Bears win. What's going on? I'm Mark Grody. This is the Daily Score, and I am, as you can see, if you're watching on YouTube at Soldier Field, the site of the Bears' 27-16 to win over the Arizona Cardinals. This game started off, the Bears just straight up dominate. It looked like the Bears were going to run away and hide in this game. Like I was thinking maybe this would be the, the, the 40 spot for the Bears in a Justin Fields 300 or 400 yard game, just the way things started. Uh, Justin Fields with a three yard touchdown run in the first quarter, seven zip. Khalil Herbert, second quarter, 11 yard touchdown run, 14 nothing Bears. Then in the also in the second quarter, fields a one-yard touchdown pass to the 39-year-old Mercedes Lewis. We'll get more with him in just a little bit. Mercedes Lewis, that made it 21-0 in the second quarter. Fast-forwarding a little bit, um, it was 21-10 in the third quarter. Then by the fourth quarter, it was 24-16 Bears leading Arizona um, on Kyler Murray's 38-yard touchdown pass. And, you know, that, that's where everybody starts to get nervous again. Here we go again. The Bears with a big double-digit lead, but they were able to clean some things up, get a couple of big plays. And Cairo Santos, the big money man who just got the extension, kicks a 29-yard field goal. And suddenly things felt comfortable, a three-score lead. And the Bears go on to win at 27-16. to Justin Fields in this game, like I said, he started out hot and then kind of cooled off throughout the game. He was 15 of 27 for 170 yards, a touchdown and a pick. He also had nine carries for 97 yards in the game. He also had a, a touchdown as well. And let me just check the refresh stats. Yeah, I um, yeah, Justin Fields, at least according to the numbers, I have 97 yards rushing on the day in a TD. So he did not get up to 100, but it was productive like that for him. Um, Cole Komet, four catches for 107 yards, but he did leave the game with a knee injury. We did not get to talk to him after the game. Um, DJ Moore um, was banged up in this game, only had three catches for 18 yards. I will add to that as well once we get into our audio. Uh, Darnell Mooney, just two carries for for five yards. So those are some of uh, the numbers. Khalil Herbert, 20 carries for 112 yards. And a touchdown. But let's let's get let's go to the audio because I'll be able to add some perspective here on some of the things that I just kind of uh, rushed through for you guys just to give you an idea of what happened. Because I'm guessing a lot of you on Christmas Eve were not paying really close attention to the Bears game. Um, let's start with what Justin the, the the good with Justin Fields, and that was the work that he did with Cole Komet. I told you he was over 100 yards on the day. And the cut I want to play for you from Justin Fields first was the 53-yarder to Cole Komet. One-on-one matchup, DB was just panicking back there. He wasn't even looking back at me, so I just threw it up, gave Cole a shot, and, you know, he came down with it. Um, you know, Cole does a great job with, you know, extended plays and stuff like that. Y'all saw that last week on the touchdown against the Browns, but, um, you know, I fully trust Cole. Cole's a great player. Um, and, I mean, yeah, it was a pretty easy decision with me just down there in one-on-one um, and throwing it up, and he made a play. Yeah, he did. And those two, I love that, that those two are, have really gained chemistry and the progress that Cole Komet has made since his rookie year is really good. Because it, it just felt like for, for a while there in Cole Komet's career, it felt like he, not that he wasn't going to make it, but it just didn't look like he was going to be a big part of things. Um, but he, he's been spot on this season and certainly worthy of the extension that he got. Um, the other thing, too, the, the, we got to talk about the interception for Justin Fields, another fourth quarter costly interception that he threw in the end zone. Um, that was one of those moments where you're shaking your head again for Justin Fields, but he was front and center explaining exactly what happened on that interception. Man, man coverage. Uh, saw the linebackers and the safety collide in the middle of the field, so I knew I had man uh, from the start. And, um, you know, the corner ended up taking Bobby in the flat. And, you know, when you get close to the sideline, usually the corners, you know, they, they didn't get the ball initially, so they started to chill out, and um, he ended up falling off on the route. So um, got to see that, and if I were to do it again or if I had it over, I would just drive it. Drive that ball to Khalil because the defender that had him, man, you know, he got caught up a little bit, was trailing behind, and um, wasn't looking back, so I really could have just drove it right to him, boom. Would have been a touchdown. So, you know, I left air, allowed the corner to, you know, fall off on Bobby. He had man coverage on Bobby, he fell off, and then he was able to pick that off. But um, it's got to be extra careful down there. 
you know, go zone. We have points already. Um, we're up 14 points, and 17 would have made it a three point uh, or three score game. So definitely got to, uh, you know, just not turn the ball over, and especially in the go zone, we already have points. But yeah. Another thing Justin Fields said was, you know, he was ready to answer the questions about, you know, I told you about the 21 nothing lead. Then, you know, the Bears only get up to 27 um, for the game. And he said, yeah, he said, we got to. We, we've got to keep this going. He said they, they should have scored 35 or 40 points. And if you were watching this game, you know that that's what it felt like. It felt like the Bears were going to be able to do anything against Arizona for the entire game. So that's still an issue for the Bears. And this offense right now is is not letting – now they called it a lull last week, and now it's just kind of keeping that firepower going because obviously there is firepower in this Bears offense, but they just were not able to sustain it. Luckily, they were able to finish in this game. One reason why I think that, you know, at least on this day, that the Bears did have trouble keeping that momentum going throughout the game is DJ Moore played hurt. As a matter of fact, I did not think DJ Moore was going to be able to play really beyond the first quarter of this game. Here's a little conversation, a lot of my questions to DJ Moore uh, right here. Yeah, it seemed like almost as soon as they said that, or at least they told us in the press box that you were questionable to return with an ankle injury, you were right back out there. So what were your feeling and how did you feel like you were able to get back out there? I was hurt, of course. Uh, then I thought about, dang, it's Christmas Eve. Why not just go out there and uh, play? You know, we got a few days off, so wasn't too bad, uh, so I'm going to be rehabbing. It's going to be uh, all good come next Sunday. Very quiet all day, but the, the I think it was third and four, seven yard catch down there that sets up the the uh, the final field goal to put it away. How big was that particular play? Uh, I mean, it's big uh, in the sense of let's let's end this game before uh, they either come back or we have like a mistake. But uh, that was a big play, and I'm glad that I got it and was able to do what I did. you feel like partly going back in there, just your presence was helping? Because obviously you weren't very productive up until the very end. Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> I mean, I'm me, so a lot of teams going to try to focus on it. I mean, just being out there, I want to be out there, regardless if the defense is care or not, I, I just want to be out there for the team. Did, did the training staff push back at all on you? No, it was solely on my decision, you know, to go back out there. Uh, they let me uh, take time out to really – to see how I was feeling, so I took that time, went back out there when I felt okay, and now we're here. What do you see that still needs to be smoothed out in the passing game for you guys to be less choppy and more consistent? For me, it's we got to attack defenses, uh, take shots down the field. We got a bunch of fast guys, guys that, that could uh, make defenses uh, back off, and then we could hit the underneath game. So taking shots and then letting Justin do what he do, uh, and that's it. Part of the game. Yeah, just keep it moving, man. Keep it downfield passes. Keep taking those shots. Don't stop. I mean, there's a time to run clock and run the football. That's okay. Don't get it twisted. But at you know, at some point in time, put the damn game away. Make it so you know the other team doesn't even that they have no will to even consider coming back, especially a team like like Arizona. But DJ Moore. You know, three catches for 18 yards, but that third and four that I asked about him, it turned into a seven-yard play that turned into an easy field goal for Cairo Santos. You know, that might have still been one of the biggest plays of the game, despite the fact that he clearly was playing injured, as he was talking about after the game. Bears rushed the ball well, 250 yards as a team. Khalil Herbert, 20 carries, 112 yards and a TD. Here is Khalil Herbert. Yeah, um, you know, last week we took it personally, uh, not being able to run the ball. We came in this week, focused on the details, um, and was able to capitalize. Did you feel like you'd been missing that burst? Did you not been 100%? No, I mean, it's a long season. You're never 100%. <laughs> but, um, no, I felt great today. Um, you know, God God be the glory. You know, I was able to get back healthy. And, um, so, yeah. You said you took it personally. You guys took it personally last week with the, the lack of production run-wise. Did you guys have conversations about that this week, and what was it like? I mean, just as an offensive unit, um, just talking about, you know, what we want to do um, and really focusing on the details. That was the biggest thing this week, and everybody helped uh, participate in this running game today. So, Yeah, it was a good day for Herbert. I love that, that they took it personally. And, you know, Herbert was asked, you know, it, were you, did you feel healthy today? You know, you're going full speed, as, as you heard. 
he did look like he was running harder and faster than he has since before he he was injured. So that's the best I've seen Khalil Herbert look probably all year. And the evidence is in the numbers in this case, 20 carries for 112 yards, a really good day for the running game in general, which of course, Justin Fields added to. It was good to see that again, to see that weapon mixed with the passing of Justin Fields today as well. Um, Mercedes Lewis, man. The 39-year-old gets in on the act, catching the one-yard touchdown pass. Um, it's his 40th career touchdown, and here's Lewis after the game. It just means that uh, the work is working. I'm not, I'm not here to have a jersey and just rah-rah, and, you know, I'm here because I can play ball. And uh, as far as me being a leader, I think that's, you know, naturally comes easy for me. So I, I don't I don't look to be a rah-rah guy. I try to lead by example, and... Uh, obviously, it's always good when you know you can score, contribute, and win the game. So that's what really matters. Is uh, we came out with the W. I love hearing that, man. Because yeah, sometimes a guy will stick around on a roster just for the heck of it, maybe cash a paycheck. But he made it very clear that he, he's not here to be that guy. And you know, he's contributed as a blocker all year. But the touchdown was big, and it was good for the guy that everybody calls the big dog. It's right, Mercedes Lewis is the big dog. Um, last guy that, that I want you to hear from, I thought it was a really good day for the most part for the Bears secondary. Um, you know, Tyreek Stevenson, Kyler Gordon, Jalen Johnson, all had good days. Here is the rookie, though, Tyreek Stevenson. He was asked, where is this team headed? We're going to the top. I believe in every guy, and I know every guy believe in each other. So um, definitely heading to the top. Be back, back, back to work Wednesday, you know, to try to um, see how we can get better and improve for next week. There was a series where you, Jalen, and Kyler all had past breakups. I don't know if you it's noticed that or not. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. How's that feel? Very yeah. great. You know, um, just the fact that we, you know, we nipped it in the bud real quick. Just show him that the ball. You know, we one of the best secondaries in the nation. You know, uh, as far as interception. So you know, put that ball in there. Sometimes gonna come out. Most likely it's gonna come out with us. So just to see us go out there and put our ball, put our hands on the ball, and kind of deter. You know, their passing game and just you know made it kind of easy for the whole defense. Yep, that just goes along with the fact that the Bears' defense has become dangerous um, and imperfect for sure. Um, you know, like I've said many times, I'm not ready to call them great or elite or anything like that. We'll take good for right now. And I think that, you know, there's still room to improve, but yeah, it's, they are heading up upward trajectory for sure. So the bears win, they beat Arizona 27 to 16. I want to wish you and your families a Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year, all of that good stuff. I hope the present opening is great. The Bears win for Ray Diaz, our executive producer. I am Mark Rohde, and I'm saying, before they turn any more lights out on me, I am saying goodbye from Soldier Field. Have a great day.